everyone, I'm going to talk about my favourite Murad products, just Murad products. I love this brand, I love Dr Murad, he's a very, very clever dermatologist and created this range many decades ago. It's a really good price point as well for products that really do benefit and make a difference to your skin, but there's a huge range and I wanted to talk about my favourite ones. I'm also very friendly with the PR and the PR said to me, why don't you talk about your favourite products and at the end we will give your subscribers a special link for which they can get a discount for. It's not a sponsored post, I'm not getting paid, but you guys, if you choose to try these products I'm recommending, get a discount. So why not? It's fine by me. I'm happy to share the love on the products that I love, and hey, why not? So all that information will be in the description box below should you wish to do that. Otherwise, I'll get on with my favorite things. Firstly, the Hydrago Aqua Peel. Now, these are face masks. Um, I use them at work. They are always in my pro kit. One, because they are super, super light. Um, it's not gonna weigh my kit down, but mainly because, and I've talked about this often, that you can't simply just hydrate your skin without exfoliating it. Because if you have lots and lots of layers of dead skin cells over your complexion, which um, you'll know if you do, because if you've just washed your face and it's really tight afterwards, or it feels really um, uneven and dry, you need to get rid, you need to eliminate those dead skin cells to give you a smoother complexion. And a smoother complexion adds much more brightness. You think about it, if you think about something being reflective, um, a piece of wood is not reflective because it's all bumpy, but a piece of glass is really reflective because it's smooth. So you want to make the outer layer of your skin smooth in order for it to kind of be reflective and glossy and youthful. So this comes in the two stage thing. I'm not gonna waste it, I'm sorry. Oh look, I'll just take the top bit out. I'll take the texturizing swab because I'm gonna use it later because I'm going out. Um, and it's great just to kind of really, um, how do I describe it? Add the bounce and luminosity into your skin. It makes a huge difference on my clients when I do their makeup. So first of all, you use the texturizing swab and this is um, glycolic acid. Now, glycolic acid, don't be scared of the word acid, just basically helps to remove the dead layers of the skin. So you just wipe it. I've got makeup on. I know I'm being really stingy and I'm sorry, <laughs> but I just want to save it. It's 10 pounds ago, so let's not be wasteful, which I think is great. 40 pounds, it's like half the price of a facial. Um, you get four facials and yeah, I probably use these like once a week or maybe if I'm just, you know, feel like I want to look after myself or I want to look as good as I can or if I'm filming or anything like that, then I'd, I'd use these before. So you just basically use the texturizing swab all over your face for a couple of minutes. Um, some people might find that there's like a little tingling sensation um, as they wipe the swab over their face. Some people don't feel anything at all. You just let that dry and then you just literally put on the moisture infusion mask. Um, it's a sheet mask. We're all very familiar with sheet masks. I'm not going to put it on because why would I? And it's just a waste of time. Um, packed full of the key ingredient hyaluronic. Lay down do the washing up, make a phone call, whatever you want to do when you've got your sheet mask on, peel it off and then importantly, I think, pat the extra product down your neck on your decolletage and then just tissue off lightly. You want to really make sure that you keep all that hydration in your skin. Don't just splash water on it. Oh no, you'll waste it and it'll all go down the drain. Don't splash water on it. Just literally tissue off the extra and you're good to go. You just don't want to leave a thick layer of product on your skin because obviously when you put your foundation on then it will start to peel but just you know be mindful of just taking off the excess but leave everything else. So hide go peel, fabulous. This is my mum's favourite Invisibler. Every Christmas, every birthday one of us in the family has to purchase this. Um, she finds it incredibly expensive. Um, it is pricey but it's absolutely worth it. It does contain silicon. I have no issue with silicon whatsoever. Um, it protects your skin. It makes your skin feel like silk. Um, it's clear. Let me just uh, show you. It's a clear texture, completely clear. And you put it over your face. Mm. It's a beautiful, beautiful product. It kind of blurs fine lines. It feels so lovely. And you know what, sometimes you know, when you put an SPF on, you feel a bit like you're giving yourself a little bit of a mask. Um, it feels a bit heavy, oily. You feel like, you know, you've definitely got your SPF on. 
putting this on in the morning when you're on holiday or whenever, because um, we should really wear it every day. I do forget sometimes, but I'm trying to be really, really good on that point. Um, I've got one in the bathroom, I've got one down in my makeup bag, just having them everywhere <laughs> makes me remember. It is the most weightless, it is the most weightless texture I have ever felt of an SPF. Um, I'm sure you can get samples. Try it. It's, it's life changing. If you, if you struggle with SPF, try this. And the silicon will not peel off over makeup, 100% guaranteed, and there's no flashback, obviously. Um, it's a really, really beautiful SPF. Right, my next one is, what should I go for next? Okay, so I have teenage children. Everyone, and all my friends pretty much do at the same time, everyone says, what do we do about spots? So I couldn't really choose um, which one to share with you because they're both different, but they're both really, really effective. So the blemish control, the rapid relief, is what you would have in your handbag because you can apply it four times a day or your school bag, depending what bag you choose to carry. Um, because this is just for targeted areas and it contains a high concentration, again, of that key ingredient salicylic acid and that's what you want to have in any spot treatment that you choose to purchase so very very easy just pop it on the area dab it on just let it dry and you can do it four times a day um, the great thing about both of these products unless you really overdo this one and please again just you know you don't need a lot um, is that they don't irritate or dry the skin out um, in fact, the three people who would trial this for me and the two children that tried it, I'm say children, like they're 16, um, tried this for me, had no irritation whatsoever. Um, but when I was looking online, a couple of people had had irritation to this, but, my, but minor. The Outsmart is a serum. Now it's very lightweight, um, it doesn't sting when it goes in the skin, and you use it morning and you use it at night. Now, depending on how oily your skin is, depending on whether you want to put a moisturiser over the top, but a lot of the youngsters don't seem to need to. But after about 10 days, you really get to see a difference. Again, it has the salicylic and it's very light and it's not irritating on the skin. And if you are suffering um, with bad skin at the moment, then this is a product or a range that you should definitely look into. Um, because it really does deliver quite good results, proven results that I've seen on people that I love loads. So I wanted to share that with you. Um, okay, so you know I love oils. So the multivitamin oil. This is a beautiful, lightweight oil. Um, some oils can be greasy. Some oils can sit on top of your skin um, and actually make your skin feel drier over a long period of use. You ever done that, put lots and lots of oil on your skin, but then you just feel like your skin's not getting more hydrated. It's because it's blocking the skin. You always use your oil as a top coat anyway. You would use all your actives and your SPS, and then you would use a little bit of extra oil on top or as you went to bed, if your skin needed hydration. But what you don't want is something that's kind of like an oil slick and that's gonna drip and something that's going to move your makeup. I use this on clients, I use it on myself. If I'm just about to put my makeup on and I haven't got that nice tackiness to my skin that I know I need, because if I don't have, the foundation takes a long time to blend and becomes more obvious, then I just pat this on. It, honestly, it lasts forever. It's 30 mil, um, it's super lightweight and it's packed full of goodies. So this is another, mm, if you like, oils. Um, I'll, I'll do one more. I could do another four, but I don't want to bombard you with information. If you like um, product analysis like this of different brands, then, then let me know, because obviously you know, I get very excited. Um, so, an exfoliating cleanser. Why would this be important? Because of these two guys, AHA, BHA. Now that's glycolic, and again, salicylic. So let me explain. The glycolic will remove those dead skin cells off the surface of your skin surface but the salicylic can penetrate deeper so if you've got blocked pores blackheads spots blemishes you need the salicylic but this does it really really gently now even though i have dry skin i'm sorry to talk about myself it's so narcissistic but it's the only way that i can do to communicate this with you if you are like me and you have blocked pores um and dry skin it's a quite a hard balance combination of skin obviously but it's a hard balance isn't it because you're always hydrating but then this area around here and here and here gets really blocked so when i feel that my skin is getting lazy um, or i want to refine my skin polish my skin without being aggressive by using a strong exfoliant i'll just use this four times a week and it makes a really big difference 
Mostly I use it in the morning when my skin's really clean and I just, you know, rub it into my skin as a normal cleanser. And then I feel that it's fresher and cleaner and brighter, almost definitely after I've done it. Nighttime I'll do my double cleanse, but I'll probably use more sort of oil-based and cream-based products to make sure that I'm removing the SPF and the makeup throughout the day. So I just keep going back to that. And if I don't use an AHA or a BHA in the morning to exfoliate my skin, my skin just doesn't feel as fresh and as bright as it is. So there we are. I hope that's concise enough and I hope I haven't bombarded you with lots of information, but it's interesting, isn't it? When you buy these products, try and buy them for a reason. Try and identify what you need for your skin. What's your issue and how can that issue be solved? Maybe I can help you down below if I haven't answered any of those specifics, but a bit of protection, uh, polishing, healing, and hydrating. I think I've kind of encompassed everything to include everyone, and I hope you found it helpful. And if you like the products, I'm glad you will get a discount. You deserve it because you're a lovely bunch. Bye for now.